Hello friends, today I'm going to solve Litka problem number 446, arithmetic slices to subsequence. In this problem, we are given an integer array nums and we need to return the number of the arithmetic sequences that can be formed from this array. So what is a sequence? Basically, sequence is an arithmetic sequence if the sequence has at least three characters three elements and each of the two consecutive elements have the difference which are the same so basically this is an arithmetic sequence because uh, the difference between each of the two consecutive elements is equals to two here and in this case the difference is equals to zero in this case the difference is equals to minus four so all of these are arithmetic sequences and this is not an arithmetic sequence because the difference between these two elements is equals to zero however the difference here is equals to one and now what we need to do is we need to find the number of subsequence of arithmetic subsequence that we can form from a given array so for example if we are given this um, array then we need to form us an arithmetic subsequence basically a subsequence is just an array which is formed from um, formed from this original array by removing some of the elements from the array so for this for an example 2 5 and 10 is the subsequence of this one similarly 1 1 would be a subsequence of this one now arithmetic sequence means that arithmetic subsequence should have the elements uh, such that the difference is same so in this example here the array itself is a sub is an arithmetic sequence because the difference are all equal to two right but we also need to create uh, the subsequences uh, from this array which um, and find a number of those right so for example here two four and six is a subsequence of uh, of difference two right four six and eight is so the one next one six eight and ten is the next one this is the next one and also six two six and ten are also the subsequence because the difference between these two is equals to four and these two is equals to four so it's also an arithmetic subsequence that can be formed from our array nums <clears throat> now how could we actually find the solution uh, how could we code the solution right so let's see here how could we do that so basically we are given an array <clears throat> and we need to find the subsequence right um, the length of the subsequence must be at least equals to three now um to form a subsequence it should also follow the order that is um um we cannot uh, like have a subsequence of suppose if we have an array three um three and a one and again um a five so if we have an array like this then we cannot form a sequence which is equals to one three and five um because we are not taking order into into consideration even though the difference between one and three and one and five are the same we cannot take this as an arithmetic sequence so we actually need to keep in mind the order of the elements as well and the size would be at least equals to three so um to perform a sequence to create a sequence what we do we already have a sequence so basically let's just imagine a dummy sequence for now and the difference of that sequence is equals to d now um we could add an element e to the sequence if the difference between the last element here the last element here is equal with uh, the element e is equals to d um, so for example we have a sequence like two and a four 
and we have an element 6 um can we add the element 6 into this sequence well yes basically the difference between 2 and 4 is equals to my uh, 4 minus 2 gives us 2 right and now um uh, we find the difference between 6 and 4 which is also equals to 2 so the difference between difference are equal so basically we could create a sequence 2 4 6 so we could add that element and create this sequence right so the difference is equals to 2 between these two and these two elements so that is what we need to do basically we check the last element of each sequence with the um, the element that we are comparing with and then if the difference are equal then we add it to the sequence if not then we just remove it from the sequence so that is what we are going to do so what we do is we suppose that i is the element that we um, that we will be adding to our subsequence and j is and j is the last element of the subsequence so um, what we do is we find the difference of i and j so the difference of nums i minus the nums of j so i am just representing nums by i so we found the difference and then we check if the difference is equals to the difference of the subsequent so basically to store the difference we are going to use a map you are going to use a map and we check the value if the value is equal then we add uh, increment the value of our um, subsequence else we we do not do anything so yeah let's jump back to our code so what we need is um, I'm going to take the length of the nums and then we need a map an array of map actually so um equals to new array of length n and for i equals to zero as less than array with length i plus plus for each of the elements we're gonna create um so we are actually creating a dy um, dynamic programming basically we are uh, storing the values here in this array so array i is equals to a map so each element is a map so basically what i'm doing here is i'm creating a map suppose for this sequence the value of my map will be um, the value of my array will be uh, the last element which is equals to 4 right for the index of 4 is equals to 1 so array 1 and the difference of this subsequence which is equals to 2 right so array 1 2 is equals to the number of elements in this subsequence so far which is equals to 2 so this is the value that we'll be storing in each of the sequence so basically the first index first represents the index that is the last element and the second value represents the difference so we are going to check um, the value this value to our difference so now let's create our conditions so for start from or let i equals to i is the element that we want to add to the sequence so i is equals to one i is less than n i plus plus and then for let j equals to zero j should always be less than i because um we always want to add to the sequence the next element right I already have 2 and 4 in my sequence now I need to check it can 6 be added to the sequence or not can it be added to the sequence or not so that is what I am doing here <clears throat> now I find a difference difference equals to nums i minus nums of j and then what I need is I need 
um, the value of the difference at this index right the end index so if the end the end index would be uh, count at j end index would be equals to j so end index if i have the value at index j with difference the difference then i'll return it else i'll return a value zero and i also need the count of value at index i with the value difference equals to the difference we have if not then we assign the value zero and then i add to my answer the count of j plus one um actually the count of j and then i update the value of index uh at Oh, it's actually air array oh, we are taking the array so I uh, we need to now update the value of the index I with a difference value equals to this difference uh, and the value will be actually equals to these the value of count J plus the count of i plus one since we are incremented by one so to the value that already exists to this we are adding we are assigning this value this is the number of sequences so far and this is the sequence that we have for i with the same value and uh, and adding a one for uh, this condition being satisfied so we are actually adding a new value to the sequence right so that is why we're plus one and then finally um, okay I need a variable for this and I need to define this first so let answer equals to zero and then return and so now let's run my code okay okay so actually if i use this uh, object representation of the map then i need to use object representation to get the a number of 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 uh, elements in the sequence with this difference so i'll just change this to this and now try to run my code okay this is an array and j plus plus here as well let's submit so the time complexity is uh, since we are doing for operation twice here the for operation uh, where we are starting iterating through i equals to one to um, the length and again uh, from j equals to zero to i so basically it's o of n squared time complexity and the space complexity is o of n squared as well